Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra. And if you told me a year ago that I would be making a video about face masks, I would have thought you were talking about a pore reducing mask or a charcoal mask. But you know, if we're talking about face masks these days, we're probably talking about something to help with this little thing we call the pandemic. And true to form, I'm only here to talk to you about face masks because I think I found some really cool stuff. If you're new to my channel, I cover a lot about cars, travel, and entertainment, but I also like really cool stuff. Things that you won't find in the ordinary, everyday world. Things that I want to bring to you because I think it's kind of cool or kind of special or kind of different. If that sounds like stuff you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now, please. And as you watch the video, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button. That helps me help you help all of us. So let's jump right to it and let's talk about face masks, okay? We've all got them. We've got this kind. By the way, if you are using something like this that looks like a standard medical mask, let me just remind you that blue side out, please. The blue side has a more waterproof layer, so that helps repel droplets. So if that's what you're wearing, more power to you. But if you don't like the look of it, if you don't like the feel of it, you have some other options. And let me show you some of the other ones that I've been using. I've got this cheap one from Old Navy, which is pretty much the same thing as wearing a cloth over my face. I also have this one that I like a lot more because it has a very specific shape. It's got a, a space for my nose and I feel like it gives me a better form fitting fit. Now, the only problem with this, and I don't know if you can tell right now, but when I wear it, and it's also why I'm wearing my glasses today, my glasses fog up like I don't know what. There's a new option that I wanna show you from a company that has been making face masks since 2015. I mean, what did they know that we didn't know? Actually, one of the co-founders, Chris Hosmer, was living in Shanghai, China. And if you have ever been to China, which I have, you will know that it has incredibly high rates of pollution. And if you don't think it affects you, all you have to do is walk around outside and come home and blow your nose and you'll see what particles have made their way up there. It's pretty gross. So anyway, he decided that he wanted to build a better face mask and that was the start of AirPop. AirPop is a company that makes what they call air wearables. You knew it was only a matter of time. Now, what makes AirPop different? Well, even though face masks have been around for a long time, they are doing innovative things with face masks because their team includes experts in performance apparel, ergonomics, air filtration, material science, and advanced manufacturing all of the things that you need for high quality material. Their goal is to function on the three F's, fit, filtration, and functionality. So in terms of fit, let's take a look at one of their masks. They sent me a few to check out. This is called the Air Pop Pocket Mask. You can get them on Amazon. See my link below if you're interested. They make the Air Pop Light and the Air Pop Pocket, both available on Amazon, and I'm going to talk at the end about a brand new mask that they have coming out that was just introduced at CES. But this is what it looks like. It's in black, so it's a little hard to see. So let's take a close up look at it. Let's take a look at the Air Pop Pocket Mask for adults. This is what it looks like. It comes in black and white, and it looks like a pretty standard mask goes over the ears until you move to the inside. And then you'll see that it's got these foam strips up top. These are ergonomic foam strips designed to fit over your nose, and they almost have a memory foam type feel to them. So the idea is it gives you a tight seal over your nose, and then you'll see this cradle inside, which gives you an expanded 3D area for breathing. The other thing you'll notice are what looked like dashed lines, and that is so that you can easily fold it up for storage. Now, let's see how and why it's different. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Keep in mind that the foam right here goes at the top where your nose is, and it's going to fit over the bridge of my nose 
and wrap around my ears. Now, what happens as a result are three things. Number one, I've got a nice fit against my face. I have a fairly small face, so some masks are literally too large, but this one fits nicely against my face. It wraps down under my chin, and you can see that it hugs the bridge of my nose. Now, this part was the most exciting for me because what that means is I have less air traveling upward to fog up my glasses. The other thing that I really like about this mask is my mouth is here and the mask extends out even further. And what that means is I now have this air pocket to breathe in so I don't feel like I'm breathing in and out of this cloth with perspiration and everything else. So I have a nice air pocket to breathe in. I've got a nice snug fit up here. That takes care of fit. That takes care of function. Now the last thing is filtration. And because they are an expert company and they've been doing this for a while, their technology will filter out 99.3% of particles and 99.9% of bacteria. What I also love about it is they sent me this air pop pocket, this little plastic case, because if you are going out, let's say, to a restaurant and you're able to sit and remove your mask, what are you going to do with your mask? Shove it down inside your purse? What if you don't have a purse? Shove it in your pocket? Shove it in your coat pocket? Well, that's what this is for. This is a little plastic case and it is for the mask and that's what these lines inside are for. We're going to fold the loops in, fold one side down, fold the other side down, and then we're going to fold it in half. This fits nicely inside this little protective pouch, which you can now shove in your pocket or shove down in your purse. Great for the adults in the family. What about the kids? Don't worry. They've got your kids taken care of too. So same concept, it's a light blue color, but it's a smaller design, smaller size, same nose bridge up here, especially if you have kids wearing glasses. I'm sure this is very frustrating. I find it very comfortable, very easy to wear. And if you are a small adult, which I am, I could probably get away with this. It's a little tight on my chin, but if you have a small face, it's not just for kids. Now, how long are these masks good for? The masks themselves are washable, so you can either hand wash them or you can put them in the washing machine on a delicate cycle. I would probably just hand wash it. These have been designated for 40 hours of use. So let's say you work in a job that requires you to stay masked all day. One of these is going to last you for an entire work week. Now the other thing that AirPop has on deck, I mentioned CES. Well, AirPop, I happened to see in the headlines back in January, introduced at CES the world's first smart air wearable. We knew it was only a matter of time, right? It's called the Active Plus Smart Mask. And what this does is it syncs up to an app on your phone and it measures various things that allow you to track your respiratory health. Now for the average person, it might not be that essential, but if you are a performance athlete, for example, this could be something that could really help you um, improve your game. And it looks really, really cool too. So back in the spring, I posted a selfie of myself in a mask saying, I'm putting this here for posterity's sake, hoping that it would be a distant memory by now. I think we all know that masks aren't going away anytime soon. So if you have been plagued with mask issues, whether it's the fit, the comfort, the ability to breathe, your glasses fogging up, I have found that this Air Pop pocket mask solves most of those problems. So if you're interested, I hope you'll check it out. I put my Amazon link below that'll take you right to the Amazon site. I've also put a link to the Air Pop website as well if you just wanna read a little bit more about this company. So. Thanks for joining me. If you found something cool or interesting, please hit that like button. Remember to hit subscribe because I would love to see you back here again for another video about really cool stuff.